Hey, this is Mehdi with Full Stack Library, and in this video, we'll manage the items on the header by using Flexbox. We'll go step by step through the whole process. Before I write any HTML code, the first thing that I do is I just take a look at this wireframe right here, which will give me an idea on how should I write the HTML. And let's just go through the header. So I have here a header, then I have two elements within the header, logo and navigation. Okay, let's just do that through the HTML code. What do we have first? We have the header and I will use the tag header. Then the second items will be logo and navigation. Okay, let's just use a comment logo just to structure the code navigation what the logo will be exactly now we can take a look at the final result this can be a sketch file or PSD or whatever I know here that it is an image so I will use a hyperlink and I will use an image within the hyperlink and I have already an image here logo so I will add that logo this can be an SVG file or any other extension but I'm just sticking to, to this extension right here and now let's just move to the other item so for the other item or for the other element right here we have the navigation and how we should how I will structure this navigation so for that I will use a div which will wrap everything then the nav tag navigation tag and I'll have I'll have to add the hyperlinks because if you see here I have four items the first items are links and the third one is the call to action right here so this call to action is just a button but also be a link okay i will add four links and the last one will be a button okay i already have a class btn so for buttons but let's just add the first one so we'll go for resources then courses for this one i'll go for blog and for the last one i'll go for sign up now we have the basic HTML code. Okay, let's just add. Now I, I need to add class names. I will use BIM. And if you don't know exactly what is it, where is it? So it's just a convention name. And so you can use the names that you want. But in general, for this course, I will use BIM. And this is how I will name classes. So for the first one, I will go for the main header. And for the logo, I will go for class logo. And for the navigation, I'll go for class sorry i'll go for class main nav then i'll set up the item which is wrap i will go for main nav and this underscore right here so this is for this element wrap and for this element i will go for class main nav then it will be items it will be considered as the container so this one will be a container the navigation and will have multiple items it is considered as the parent and for the other ones that so have some items within this main nav items, I will use the same name but in singular. So this one items and this one only one without the S. So this is singular and this is plural. And main nav items. Let's just use the same one for the other links. Let's just copy that. Okay. Now let's just use the same class for the button. Okay, cool. Now I have a global styling for this length right here, and I will use the class nav link. Okay, let's just copy that for both. Other space and cool. Now the classes are ready to use. So this is how I use the class names. So inside the HTML, and this is just a way of structuring the class, then I can stop using all of that from CSS. In order to use Flexbox, we need a parent and items. And I will consider the header in our keys as the parent, and the items will be the logo and the navigation. If we take a look right here, so this is the cross axis. This is the star and the end of the cross axis. This is the main axis. This is considered as the part. How to manage to use Flexbox in this case? So for that, I'll go for main header. Because if we take a look at the index.html file, you see that this element will be considered as the parent and it has the selector main header. Then I'll use display flex. Now the element of so flexbox is enabled on this items right here and I can start using it. But uh, let's just add a padding of 30 pixels and 50 pixels. So this 30 pixels is for the top and the bottom and 50 pixel is for left and the right. Okay, let's just save that. But the items are not well aligned. What I want to do exactly is I want this element because I have two items. This is the logo and the other item. Let's just 
remove that. This is the first item, A, and for the other item will be all of the navigation. Okay, how to manage that? So I need to justify the content or use the justify content, which will use this main axis right here to use space between. And this one will go at the right of the main axis or at the end of the main axis. And the first one will stay at the start. Okay, how to use that? I'll use justify content. Then I'll go for space between. Okay, now so the justify content will use the main axis and the space between will manage the free space in order to use it between the items. We have two items and this is the free space. We need also to align the items through the cross axis to be centered because as you see, hey, for the logo. So the logo, okay, I'll just put a background color to see that. So the logo is at the top, but it is not aligned with this other items. I want it to be aligned vertically. So this vertical alignment needs to go through the cross axis. And for that, I will use align items, align items, and I will go for center to center the element through the cross axis. If we take a look right here, everything now is aligned through the cross axis. Now I will use the flex property, which is just a shortcut and you will see where is it exactly. If we take a look right here, it's just a shortcut for flex grow, flex shrink, and flex basis. So without even using rewriting the same thing, flex grow one, flex shrink one, and flex basis zero percent. So just when you use this flex one, it will just add all of that. So, and this is why I'm using it here. So to allow the add items to grow and to allow also the items to shrink. And this is how we solve the first problem of aligning the two items, logo and the navigation. Now we have another problem is aligning the items right here. And if we take a look at the results, you see that we have, we have some items, first link, second one and third one, they are horizontally aligned and just manage to manage that we'll also use Flexbox. And in this case, what do we have here is we'll have a navigation, which is considered as the parent and the items will be the links or also this call to action button. Let's just solve the problem through the code. I'll just add a background here to see the container. Now we have a problem right here and let's just get into the selector and this is the name main nav items. This will be considered as the parent main nav items. I will put a background to see that go for FFF. And as you see, this is the container when we have a problem. So, and I will define here, display flex. Now the element will be displayed horizontally. Why? Because by default, we have this flex direction row instead of column. If I do a column, so they will be displayed vertical and this is not what I want, but by default, this is what I have flex direction. And if we just enable that, so you see that I have a cross axis like that and the main axis horizontally, why? Because the flex direction by default is set to a row. And the other thing that I need to add, I need to justify the content. So the space will be the same. I want the space will be different. And for that, I will use justify content, then space between. It will manage how the space is distributed between the items. Okay, now I will also have to align the items at the center. Why? Because I want the element to be aligned through this cross axis right here to avoid having any problem of the vertical alignment. And I will go also for this flex one, which will enable by default the element to shrink and to grow. And to have an idea on how we structure all of that. So you will find here that I have the parent one, which is, let's just go to the HTML, which is the header right here. This is the parent, parent one, main header selector. Parent one item one is this logo right here, the logo and the parent one item two, which is considered the navigation. This is how we structure parent and items. And you can use Flexbox in order to manage all of that. We can also have another parent within the parent and the structure right here. So just define that we have the parent, the first one, and now we use Flexbox for this navigation right here, parent. This is the parent two. And this ones are considered as 
items. Let's just remove all of this background. I don't need it. All of that is aligned. The logo is aligned with the navigation. We have the items horizontally aligned and also this button.